bridge. Okay guys, we are on the Hillman Bridge. It's a bridge that is no longer in use. Right over in here, there used to be a little town called Ellaville. And there used to be, back over in there, there used to be a plantation, like uh, a mansion, that the 12th governor of Florida um, built. And there used to be a sawmill here. And there used to be uh, it, it was a town that they also dealt with that turp turpentine and but there was a sawmill there and uh, this was a little town at one time back over in here now there's railroad tracks right over there and the train ran right through the town and they used to have steamboats come and um, deliver deliver uh, or pick up lumber and deliver supplies but it was named Ellaville Ella was one of his servants names so he named the town after his servant Ella so this is pretty neat So we're coming up here on the bridge. I was zoomed in on that last part. Sorry about that, but as you can see this is uh, it's not very wide. But right over here to the right is the new bridge. Yeah, right down here to the right of the bridge is a is a house. I think there used to be like a store or something over there. I'll show you as we're going out some footage of there's a concrete structure back there. Um, and uh, see, there's the new bridge. This is the Swanee River. But there's a structure back there, a big concrete structure. It's all covered in vines now, but I'll I'll show that to you. So uh, and there's right there. And right over there is the uh I didn't bring my drone because my drone has got issues. That is the railroad bridge and it's still in use today. Yes. Is it abandoned? Is it abandoned, right? 
No. No, that is That is still in use today. Oh, okay. That's still a useful bridge. Oh. Isn't it pretty, guys? But again, this is the Swanee River. Sorry about the wind. Got her, she's using the old Sony. The old Sony Handycam. Because our other camera messed up. I got it apart. I got to do some soldering on it. Where you plug the USB into to charge it. Uh, popped out. It's We've had problems since we had it with that thing. You kind of had to hold the cord a certain way for it to charge. And... Uh, it finally just popped, so I gotta get that fixed. But yeah, it's not a very wide bridge. Now I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll put a link in the description down below where you can read about this bridge. Now, uh, like I said, it's supposed to be haunted. Now I don't know why. So here's some reflectors. I don't know why it's supposed to be haunted. I really couldn't bring much up on it. But you know how stories are. It's like a little uh, peninsula out there. Now somewhere that might be, let's see, somewhere not far from here is the Width Lacucci. Maybe it breaks off into that. I'm not positive, but there's like a little peninsula out there. And I'll take you over that way too as well to show you some uh, different stuff. There's uh, right over here is where the the uh, that mansion was, the governor's house. And um, again, I'll put the links in the description so you guys can uh, find all this stuff out and uh, read about it if you want. Because I'm not real sure about much. There's something out there in the water. I don't know what it is. But, um, but I'll give you some dates and stuff here once we get over into that direction because there's still some ruins over there and somewhere right in there was the sawmill and we'll take you guys hiking back in there too so but it's very pretty here. Again, the new bridge. And I'm not sure what year. See, there's another one that looks just like this, only it's a little different up at the top. Sorry about the sun. It kind of goes up. And it's kind of graffitied. But it's just like this, and a lot of people get them confused. Um, but we're going to take you to that bridge next. It's not far from here. So, let me give you a view down through this way pretty long bridge very nice though very nice and we're at the end of it right here a lot of people come in this direction but there's like a little park over in there where we parked the truck at and I'll show that to you as well once we get back across there so it's pretty shady back in here nice and cool it's a hot day not sure what the temperature is there's the expansion joints And way down in there. I don't know if I can get... Yeah, maybe I can get down in there. And, um... I don't know. If I can, I'll get down in there and show you another view of it. If not... Yeah, we can get down in here. There's some of it there. Let's keep you rolling. We're going to get down here. Whoa. Damn it. Every time. Sorry about that. 
I'm not walking through any spiders today if I can help it. It's a big hunk of steel there, guys. Looks like wood, but I assure you that's steel and asphalt. Down after here. And you can see over there on that pylon there, that bridge embankment, you can see the old, uh, where they would measure how, they could just look at that and tell you how high the water is. So, 24 feet to the top from the letter, or from the number one there, so. Back out here a little bit. Right over there is a picnic table. The old concrete style picnic tables. But again, it is a little park over there. Now, they haven't mowed it this year, it looks like, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And look at this big rock, guys. Isn't that cool? Awesome, huh? Another big rock right there. All right. A big old cable there. Look at that huge bolt, man. That. Pretty cool. There's the remnants of an old building. I can't remember for sure. Basketball hoops there. There's an old sign right there. Gator Jacks. Full seafood selection and steaks. Alligator Jacks. Farm raised alligator. The best anywhere. Now I don't know where that is. I don't know if it used to be down in here. There's a building down there, but this is private property, so I can't take you down there. I will take you over here. We'll go back in the woods a little bit. But this is all a concrete structure, so. I don't know what it used to be. Where the house was okay guys so I just got some information on the guy that lives in this house right here where you at and that house right there now this used to be a restaurant here now down below there there's still an old wine cellar but it's all boarded up and locked up down below see like I said that's all I'll throw a picture of this what 
excuse me, what it used to look like. Now, he said Ted, Ted Bundy, that was one of his excursions, and he says several people has died in what used to be that building there down in that wine cellar, but he also said if you walk past there at night, you can hear things and it just feels like somebody's watching you. So that's pretty interesting. So we got to talk to him and uh, he says he's not a historian. He don't know the years or anything like that. But that's exactly, but he does know for sure that down in that wine cellar, uh, people has been killed there. And the house used to be an arcade. Now this, this uh, restaurant changed hands several times. And the last time it was in a business over at the house, right over there, um, at the house, there used to be like a little arcade in there, like a little game room type thing. So, that's pretty interesting. I thought I'd share that with you. So, that's pretty cool. I know you can't really see the structure because of all the trees, the foliage and stuff, but... That's what used to be there. And we're going to take a walk back in through here if we can get through the foliage. And there's something over here I want to show you too. I'll show you real quick. But yeah, nice gentleman. Um, there's an older disabled, ooh, found a hole. Older disabled gentleman lives in that house and he gets concerned and uh, I guess people come up here late at night and steal stuff off of them. I don't know why they do that, but you know, there's people out here trying to, you know, live and so this is pretty cool. Now, I don't know <clears throat> what this little chimney's for. I think it may just be a part of the park. I don't think it was part of the, uh, of the mansion it was a two-story mansion that was in here that was built by the 12th governor and I'll put a picture of the sign and you can read it I'll put a picture of the sign in right now Way you got more, you know, uh, more up to date than I am. I'm, you know, look at this guy. He's not as big as the one we've got at the house, but he is huge. So we're gonna walk back in there. There's picnic tables, the old concrete ones. There's one right there. There's a little bench here another picnic table down in there and there's one over here too bad they don't keep it up anymore I mean it's it's nice or you know I, I've seen pictures of this place when it was mowed and taken care of and it was very very nice they're not even taking the trash out so I'm not sure what's going on there but yeah right over there he feels he didn't say the word haunted but he said it's very eerie when you walk past there at night, he don't like to walk past there at night unless he has to, so. Oh, I found the same damn hole. Hole there. That's a hole I fell in twice right there. Okay, so let's take a walk back in here. 
see what we can see. Guys, this is the train trestle. Look at this. See this platform? Yeah. That's an O-ship platform. And if you would be on there and a train came, you could stand off to the side of that so you wouldn't get hit by the train. Ah. That's what them are for. Does this work about? What? This one's the abandoned one? No, this is not abandoned, hun. Why do I think this is... This is still in use today. Oh, okay. And right over there is the river. Hmm. Look, it kind of curves. Cool, eh? Better shot without the sun here. Pretty cool, huh? Uh huh. All right. You're going the right way, you yes. Okay. Onward. down here I'm not sure what it was for but maybe the the sawmill and Just a guess on my part, maybe some kind of, like a reservoir or something. <laughs> Monkey's back there going, wow. There's a rope hanging in this tree right here. But look at this. So I'm guessing this may have been part of the sawmill. It's way down in there. Huh? Cool. Like I said, just a guess. Um, but you know what? This may this. I think this is a spring. Is it? Yeah. Can you swim? I don't know if you're loud. I mean, you can swim wherever you want. But I'm guessing this is a spring. It's coming out of there. Oh wow! So this was probably some type of reservoir. That we saw from the bridge. See this current. See this splits off. So that's the um, Swanee over there. I think this may be the Whiplacoochee. Isn't this cool, guys? That's really throwing a lot of water out of there. 
So I'm guessing this was some type of reservoir. Look, someone's had a rope here. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There it is. Two of them. Yeah, there's another one over there. I'll bet you they would swing yeah. off of that platform right there. Yeah. Or this one. And boom, out into the water. Oh, I bet you that'd be fun. Yeah, I'd like to find out. Yeah. I ain't got no way to get the rope though. No. Pretty cool though. how clear that is it's definitely a spring and man you can see how much water it is putting out huh this one oh god Monkey taking my picture. Be careful up here. Yeah, definitely a spring, so that might have been where their drinking water was coming from. Pretty cool. Let's go check some more stuff out. Here's a remnant of something left over from the old town, I'm guessing. Like I said, I don't know what all this stuff is. It's not marked. Um, so I'm not sure what that would have been. Cool. Anyway, it's part of the house or a, pot, a chimney? I, I, I don't know. Seem to be more? Yeah, there'd be all kinds of stuff laying around here. I don't know what it is. Cool. So we have something here. Maybe in a well or something. And right over here, the giant cobweb, so something. Piece of metal sticking out of it with holes. There's a piece of metal on top of it. That's some stonework there. Pretty cool. There's the train bridge right through there. like there was a gate here because there's one on each side mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's there's miles of trails back through here yeah there's probably a lot more remnants 
and through there we didn't really get off the trail so you guys want to go see the trestle okay. okay let's walk up here and see the trestle right up there I'm under here because it's easier than walking on that stuff that she's walking on Come here. Shh. Shh. There's bass up in there. There's bats up in there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. They're making all kind of racket. Can you hear that? In your back. Cool. Okay. I don't think. Ooh, fuck me. A lot of spiders out today, guy. <clears throat> There's the river. The Swanee River. If I can get, yeah, let's see if I can get down in here. Show you guys the uh, train trestle. And these paths are very easy walking. So. Isn't that wild? Look at them giant rivets. I'm sure it's concrete inside there and if you look over there see part of the bridge that we were on I know it won't go clear down the water but isn't that cool I'll show you the bridge now the train trestle still in use today Awesome, huh? See up through there? Hi, guys. More to come. Wow. Bunch of old cables there. Roll. There's a roll. Been there for a long time. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we're almost back to the truck. And uh, we're going to call it right here. And we're going to go to the next one. How's that? Okay. Okay, you up for it? Yeah. Not as much walking. But, we took a hell of a hike. That was a nice hike. A very nice hike. Yeah, I've seen some neat stuff. So I know there's more back in there. Yeah. And we're just not, well, you're not really dressed for it today, so. we got Bruno. He's done, he's done pretty good, though. He walked the whole way, didn't he? Yeah. All right, guys. So, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Monkey says Shea for now. All right, bye-bye, guys. Bye, y'all.